This is great for the gains, dirty gains. It's all about dirty gains. I'm dancing with the shadows on the bedroom wall. Silhouettes of memories that I can't recall. Trying to be ready for the dark. Yeah. Oh, Gareth, you haven't been yeah, in the vlog. I haven't, this is my first time. Yeah. Uh, you're one of our part timers. No, I got cut out last time. You you're, no, you're one of our part timers. That's why you've never been in the vlog. I'm not sure, I'm going back to the physio on Wednesday. Just let us catch up with the Oh, more than yes, you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Ines has been in the vlog more than you've been in the vlog. Yeah, that's true. I just, I'm just a sensible one, I work from home. Yeah, he's, you know, he calls it all night. In Southampton. In Southampton. That is the downside. You said, you said that like if you work in the south of France yeah. and you're really enjoying yourself in Nice. <laughs> more specifically, Shirley in Southampton, which is a bit of a... You can't, can I swear on this vlog? Um, I'm going to say it in a way, it's a bit of a shithole. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> you're going to be on the internet now. People are going to comment. Really it's alright, I've been leaving in a few months, so it's fine. What? Are they out that limited? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> hey team, welcome back to the vlog. What are we doing today? We are, we're filming today. Sorry, Alison, the camera is going straight through you. <laughs> we are filming our camera confidence course. Uh, one of the days of filming for our camera confidence course. So we've got various team members in the studio today. In fact, we have basically our entire UK based team here today the ones who are currently in the UK at least, and we're taking a bunch of team members through various drills for improving on camera confidence um, by doing some games and some energy drills and some workshops and stuff. Then we're going to incorporate those into a module of the course. It's going to be fun. It's been pretty good so far, I think. And yeah, how, how have you chaps found it so far? I'm not going to answer because I'm at a weird angle, so <laughs> we'll let her go first. I think it's been really good. I think there's, I've already learned lots of things clearly evident at this point of how confidently I'm speaking on camera. But no, I think it's been good. There's, there's, um, the exercises are really interesting. You don't think you're gonna learn that much because you just feel nervous and stuff, and then you do it and then you're like, oh shit, that actually makes sense. That was worthwhile. So yeah, excited for the rest of the afternoon. This is really too close for anyone's, um, yeah, it's been really good. The, the, the exercises, as Bab said, were interesting. I didn't, realize some things about myself and how I speak until Ali pointed out some tips and tricks and they really really helped so hopefully other people who hate the camera as much as I do <laughs> will improve their their confidence speaking in front of it well that's the aim anyway <laughs> oh it's my turn is it? yeah um it's quite challenging actually you kind of um step up into the fray thinking yeah, that you could probably just roll with it but um there's actually a lot to be said for speaking on the spot, especially when you know you've got to kind of keep people engaged and interested in what you're saying. Um, but Ali had some amazing tips and I, I can't wait to see the collated version where we get to see all those tips and tricks in one place. That'd be really good. So it's been, yeah, it's been a really interesting day so far. Um, yeah, I think the, the exercises were a lot more fun than I thought they would be. And I think I wouldn't have thought that you would be able to develop camera confidence skills from those activities. Um, yeah, and yeah, I think I was I was quite nervous for a lot of them, um, and it was helpful getting Ali's feedback for them, and we could like, try to put it in practice immediately. I love how we're okay with just a camera being pointed at our face now. Though. Yeah, it's like here you go, talk. Well, after a five guys, you know, a lot more relaxed, I suppose. Alison, how, how are you getting on with the camera? It's good. It's actually really easy. So I think um, I'm going to take one job. Um, <laughs> no, what? I don't know why you get to pay the big bucks because this is. <laughs> do, all he does is tell other do people. I, do yeah, I all I do is zoom in and out. Alrighty. Right, so that is the wrap of <laughs> today's uh, camera course confidence drills day. A lot of people here. So that was, yeah, that was good vibes all around. Now we have another 15 minutes to do a. Uh, speaking, not a speaking, we are doing a table read for videos that we're filming tomorrow. So we're just going through the script and making sure it's legit. I think for two videos about building a second brain and one thing else. And then we've got a quick meeting, then we've got another meeting with Angus, and then I'm heading home to St Albans to have dinner with my mum and grandma this evening. So very productive day so far, good vibes, well played Gordon, well played to the rest of the team for bringing, bringing the energy and bringing the A game. All right team, so. Hang on, hang on. Um, it's actually the following day because I was super tired last night. I ended up actually after the camera confidence course. The course, the course went really well. 
And then I went home to St. Albans where my family live and ended up recording season two, episode one of Not Overthinking, the weekly podcast that I do with my brother. So we recorded a new intro for that. Maybe we'll B-roll some of the podcast. That'll be linked down below if you want to check out the podcast. We are revamping it. Uh, we are again getting back into doing a weekly podcast where he and I chat about life, happiness, and the human condition. So if you want to check that out, then that'll be, that'll be linked down below. And um, in true, where's my phone? I need to answer some questions from people. I like doing Q&A from people. It's good. Good vibes all round. Right, let's see. What questions do people have for the vlog? Question. So, your housemate is vegan. How does this work for you both? Do you have a productivity regime for that too? Should Stoics consider, if not pure veganism, at least some compromise? How to help with human reducing human and animal suffering? Yes. My housemate is vegan. Um, we don't really cook together, but when we do, it's like vegan food, obviously. Honestly, I, I fully buy all of the arguments in favor of veganism. I think it's it's absolutely the right thing to do. I just haven't gotten around yet to going vegan because it feels hard. Like, I honestly have no leg to stand on there. Like, I'm not gonna argue that, oh, actually eating animals is ethical and etc. etc. I just do it anyway because it feels like too much of a thing to like, solve that problem and I think I keep on procrastinating and putting it off until later and later and I think oh but protein and then I think oh but like I really like the taste of meat and the taste of fish and stuff but yeah I know it's morally reprehensible and so I will be going plant-based at some point in my life at least that's where my ethical leanings leanings go so a good question do please check out this episode of not overthinking if you would like that'll be linked down below if it's out by the time this podcast is ready and yeah thank you so much for watching the vlog I will continue to attempt to film stuff on the daily and Gordon and the team is helping with filming stuff too. So fingers crossed this daily, vlog pro this daily vlog project continues. But yeah, have a great day. Click here for yesterday's vlog and here for the vlog playlist. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.